so so you decided you want to do a startup and convince your parents to do it how did you go get the idea of what you wanted to do and how did you actually ended up uh, executing it sure so at that time we were working on replenish mm -hmm. and uh, the idea had stemmed from my brief internship at stanford mm -hmm. so i was at the goodman simulation lab mm -hmm. and i was helping coordinate different classes and literally all the doctors would come to practice on the robotic patient and mm -hmm. things like that and during one of those sessions paramedics had come to train with the robotic patient and there was just so much chaos because they were maybe spending five ten minutes with the patient but 30 40 minutes just debriefing as to what had happened in that five ten minute like interaction mm. and i was kind of taken aback but I did discount it, saying that maybe they're training, things like that are happening. And uh, later on, the deeper I dug mm -hmm. into the whole industry, mm -hmm. the more I learned that that was the norm. Mm -hmm. So uh, replenish addressed that issue of automating paperwork and helping them be compliant right. uh, faster. And you started that in 2015? 2015, yeah. And, but you went to uh, Y Combinator in 2016, summer yes. of 2016, so that's like August. Yeah. What, what were you trying to prove in the, in the meantime? How did, what was your first product with, with Rick Plenish? Sure. Um, so in the meantime, we actually were part of Founder Institute and that was one of the reasons I Fair extended enough. the okay. six month, uh, quote unquote, leave of absence. Right. <laughs> And um, at that time, we were getting LOIs. I literally remember going to customers with a product and there were paper like drawings, right? Right? Of the product screenshots. And I was like, here you go. What do you think of this? Would you, if I made this, would you use this? And we got LOIs based on paper drawings. Like I was blown away that people, like the need was big enough that people were willing to bet on paper drawings to solve it. Um, yeah. And, and who was the, who gave you the first LOI? Where was it from? Yeah, it was actually a local company, um, mm -hmm. called Royal Ambulance. Okay. And I remember I was so happy that, oh my God, yeah. I got a meeting with Royal Ambulance. Right. And then you, <laughs> and you took it to your parents. It, it acted as a proof of, exactly, uh, validation. It, it, actually, it was a validation yeah. uh, of the idea. Cool. So, so how many, how long did it take you to get your first LOI? Yeah. So the first few LOIs were really fast, right? okay. but the challenge for us was I was a non-technical founder mm -hmm. and I had to build a product, mm -hmm. right? So yes, I can make a sale happen. All of that could happen, but now you have to deliver on all of that. Right. So uh, that was the stepping stone, right? Building the product, getting the team together. That was, I think the second time I had worked with outsourced teams. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah.